We've got a coupon for Whole Foods. And we're going to spend it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, sometimes we go on field trips, <laughs> we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so we got a coupon for Whole Foods how much money do you have to spend to get a coupon from Whole Foods actually this was a coupon they sent us because we made purchases from Amazon on Prime Day so they sent us this coupon I think it's $15 off of a $75 purchase did you buy something on Amazon Prime just Day? a little bit Crazy. our front room looked like Christmas hit it yeah but Christmas for me Daddy's Christmas. Did you wrap anything? No. Should have wrapped it. I never wrap my Christmas presents. Usually I play with my Christmas presents before Christmas. Remember when we had that Christmas where we were going to save all this money by like wrapping everything in newspaper? Yeah. And we had to give all of the kids like baby wipes and their present. It was like, oh, open it up, but don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Yeah, so I'm interested to see what we're going to be able to get at Whole Foods. It shouldn't be any problem hitting a $75 mark. No. We could buy, like, what? Like, one package of sausage. <laughs> I think our worst bad. case, we'll just load up on some more Zevia. The last time I checked, it was on sale again. Even though we have an entire wall of Zevia. Yeah. It's kind of daunting. It's a little scary. My problem is, is I like to have an assortment of flavors. That's what keeps it interesting for me. So I'm constantly, like, kind of going down the wall going... How much of which one do I have left? Like, I only have, like, one six-pack of grape left, so I need more grape. Ugh. There'll be plenty of grape to purchase there because no one wants grape. Actually, it's usually sold out at our Whole Foods. They just throw it out. Every no one's buying I, it. Every time I try to order it for delivery, it, it'll say, like, there's three, like, six-packs left, and they'll order it. They're like, oh, sold out. We're going to substitute the grape with, like, ginger ale. I'm like, how is ginger ale a substitute for grape? Anything is a substitute for grape. I'm kind of drawn to that Zevia wall because it's so colorful, and I want to take a photo in front of it, but then we look like we're crazy people. It does look a little insane, but again, we only buy it when it's on sale, and then, like, we don't know when the next sale is going to be, so I, I'm not paying $5 a six-pack for Zevia. There are, like, tons of crazy drivers out today. I can't complain too much about drivers because I was a crazy driver this week and knocked my side view mirror off of my vehicle. Yeah, I like that the garbage can came rolling down. You got attacked by the garbage can that was stationary on the side of the road. I was absolutely attacked by that garbage can. I get a phone call. It was She's a like, hit and run. This garbage can was slowly moving down the driveway. And I went back. I didn't want to go back and find my broken mirror. I, I think you didn't want to go back because you knew the owner of the house where you, like, hit a garbage can with your side view mirror and I'm didn't so want to have to admit to a friend of ours that you did that. No, it was, oh, you're thinking it was Mindy's? Yes. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Mindy's house. It was, like, down the street from Mindy. Sorry. Down the street from Mindy person. But, um... So I went back there and I thought, man, if it knocked my side view mirror out, I must have like really done some damage to that garbage can. It wasn't even moved. I just hit it in the exact right spot to like pop it out. Fortunately, it wasn't anything like wrong with the actual whole housing of the side view mirror. Just the inside glass piece popped out. So that's a $20 repair. Yeah. At least it's not like my side view mirrors. If you break my side view mirrors on my truck, it's a thousand dollars. Dang! For one. Oh my goodness. No. Thank you, Hyundai, for having cheap things. <laughs> so I'm trying really hard this week to drink more water. I'm so bad at it. I, I get like such a case of do better and then I poop out on it. I'm trying to like eat a lot more salt. I'm doing like a dual more doable bottle. So this is my second one this morning of like of these this size because the one that Anthony got me is so daunting it's so large that I'm like 
Yeah, but at least it keeps it cold all day. It does, but I need this like achievement of, oh, you drink it, good job. Like I need that. We went back to Broward College today to try what to, happened with that? to settle up Caleb. He got a Pell Grant, which is awesome. And we got the like kind of, like the award for the Pell Grant. However, we saw this secondary thing that said um, loan. And we were like, loan? We're not doing loans. Why would we want a loan? And so we went to financial aid and they were like, yeah, oh, you don't want an extra loan on top of it? And it was like, no, we want no debt. We have like you know, scholarships to pay for the tuition. And then we're using the Pell Grant money to pay for his books and all the other extra expenses. And then they're like, okay, well, we just won't give you a loan. We'll say no to the loan. But I'm like, oh my goodness, how many kids would check accept not really knowing what that was and that was start them off right yeah gonna be like a two thousand dollar debt let's let's just start kids off right i love like the day the kids turn 18 like they start getting like tons of credit card offers in the mail yeah so they wanted him to link his a financial aid account with like their own financial aid program that it would like put it into his, a bank account but I'm just gonna wait and see if he has any above or beyond monies to just send it to us in a check. I don't really want stuff linked with them. They have Dick's Sporting Goods and BJ's in the same plaza. Do not tell me that there is not like a city planner with a sense of humor in Coral Springs, Florida. Isn't there a Barnes and Noble over here? I haven't been there in like forever. They closed. Oh. Well, clearly I did not do my part as a customer. I became a Walgreens. Oh, okay. I use Walgreens more. <laughs> so Caleb got a haircut today after we went to Broward College. Okay. And when he gets done, the lady is like, what do you think? And he goes, well, I'd like it to be a little longer. <laughs> totally. I was like, um, she can't help with that. Like maybe say something as she's cutting. But that's the thing. It, it, his whole life, Caleb will never say what he actually wants. He's like, no, 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 I don't wanna, I don't wanna trouble you, right? And so then we leave the haircut place and I don't think we've ever had a situation where he left feeling completely happy with his haircut. Cause he won't give clear instructions. Like, wait, nope, too much, too much is coming off or not enough. Sometimes it's too long and he doesn't like that either. It's just like really strange behavior. He has a hard time saying what he, what he wants expressing what he wants. I'm sure it's frustrating to the lady. I felt terrible. Usually he won't even say I'm dissatisfied, but the fact that he said that, like what is she supposed to do with that? Right? Right. Like feel bad about the haircut she gave. He looked nice, but it was just funny. Okay, well should I glue them back on? Glue some hair follicles back on? There's a Sam's Club here. Wait, do we still have a Sam's Club membership? We have a Sam's Club membership. I feel like we never go there. I hardly ever go there. I actually have a membership for my mother and sister because we almost never go there. Once in a blue moon. It just doesn't have a lot of variety of keto products. Keto products. And it and the deals are not such that you're just like, wow, I'm still gonna get my meat here because it's so much cheaper. The one thing they do have is they have zip fizz in individual flavors where you don't have to buy like an entire like no, we're not we don't have any fruit punch there. Dang it. At least not ours doesn't. <laughs> the koyas are on sale. But not the keto koyas. But not keto koyas. That's probably good because I'd be buying it. Wah, wah. Harmless coconut water. Let's oh, see how harmless this is. this is. 15 grams of carbohydrates in a serving. 31 grams in the whole bottle. Nobody's only drinking a half a bottle of this. 27 grams of sugar. That's super harmless. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love those cowboy burgers. The cowboy beef burger. What is this ultimate seasoned one? Ooh, I look at the gorgonzola. So I love this. If you miss getting um, sushi from the grocery store, 
check out these wild smoke salmon pinwheels it's nine dollars 8.99 for a package which i think is right on par with if you're buying like sushi from like Publix or something and it's got some great macros and look at that that's delicious looking usually we get the bubbies but whole 65 365 is on sale so we're gonna try these the organic valley heavy cream doesn't have carrageenan in it they use galan gum so we're gonna get this one Good culture is on sale. We're getting like three of these. Look at this packaging. Just looking at it makes you think that like this is going to be so healthy for you. 48 carbohydrates in one pastry. 23 grams of sugar. Look at all those ingredients. I see like right off the top of my head like five different types of sugar in there. Look at this mung bean pasta like I don't know I couldn't believe it 47 carbohydrates Wow so I am so excited that they have the rice the shirataki rice usually we can't find that I can find the pasta but I can hardly ever find the rice so and it's on sale for 250 plus you get 10% off yay Whole Foods has self checkout now yay so we did good we had uh, we spent seventy nine dollars and eighty cents, mm -hmm. but we got fifteen dollars off plus we saved forty four dollars. So sale. the bill was actually a hundred and thirty nine dollars, wow. and we ended up spending seventy nine. I like that. So that's pretty good. Let's go through what we got. We got some really good stuff. Well, first of all, we got a couple of cabbages. Yep, we're gonna do some sauerkraut, some homemade sauerkraut. And, and the cabbage was on sale, I think 99 cents a pound. And here is some... These beans. are really good. If you guys like are looking to make like some kind of a spaghetti or something, these uh, Kolabi uh, Luguinis, I think that's how you pronounce it. But this is really good. So this entire bag is three servings. There's two cups per serving. It's 25 calories per serving. That's so if nice. you eat the entire bag, it's 75 calories. Five grams of carbohydrates, so the whole bag is 15, but three grams of dietary fiber. So nine off. So yeah, be nine. So if you eat the entire thing, you're only looking at six net carbs. I like that. So got that to make like a kind of spaghetti and meatball kind of thing. Mm. What else we got? This I'll put bag. that one in the back. Ooh, this bag smells good because it's got coffee in yes, it. You, Rachel got a mocha java coffee. It was on sale for $10.99 a pound. And so um, you ended up paying $9.50 for that. I hope I don't have any like granules in my teeth because I ate a couple of Yeah, these. she was sitting there eating the beans. It's so good. What else did we get? Heavy whipping cream. Yep, so this is one of the few heavy whipping creams that doesn't have carrageen in it. They use Galan gum in this one. And yep, they have this one and then also the Horizon, which also uses Galan gum. Uh, but this one is a dollar a container cheaper. It's $4.49 for this one. And that adds up. And you you may be using some of that. Yep, in we're gonna work on a rice pudding using shirataki rice. I'm excited about that. And I'm actually going to use some shirataki rice to make my own lunch today like a big girl. This week we're trying to experiment with me cooking my meals. Rachel's doing her own meals this week. So we'll see how that goes. She's trying to learn how to track on her own. Yeah. It's challenging. It's a pain in the butt. Everything everybody says, it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. That's why I do it. It's a total pain in the butt. This entire week is making me like be more thankful for you. <laughs> what else? I got the receipt here so I can go over the prices. This looks so good. So this is a cottage cheese that we absolutely love. We found it at um, KetoCon, and we're gonna actually do a review because they gave us some coupons to give away, and they're actually based down here in South Florida, so we were gonna try to hook up with them and maybe like tour them. Uh, but I love this, and they have a couple of different ones. They have a 2%, a 4%, they also have a 6%, which is very difficult to find. I think she said it may be in Publix, but this is a 4% one. And so there's four servings in here, a half a cup per serving, 110 calories, only three grams of carbohydrates per serving. Nice. Okay, and the best part is, is again, this one here, ingredients, organic um, milk, organic whole milk, organic skim milk, organic cream, Celtic sea salt, and active culture. So they don't have any carrageenan in here. And a lot of times cottage cheese has carrageenan and thickeners in it. Yeah. So that's what makes this one so good. And it's only three total carbs. I love it. And it, it tastes so good. I also like the fact that it is four grams of fat per serving. 
Pickles. Pickles. We usually like to buy the Bubbies, but the Bubbies are $8 a jar. These were on sale. They're a whole food brand, and they're normally $4.99, but they were on sale for $3.99, and then you get an extra 10% off as a Prime member, so you pay $3.69. That's a huge difference. Really can't beat that. I mean, that's like Walmart prices. Yeah, so I only buy refrigerated ones because there's less preservatives and stuff in it. Has one more bag, I think. This is the bag with all the good stuff in it. This has got cowboy burgers in it. These burgers, if you're ever just don't feel like making burgers tonight, these burgers are incredible from Whole Foods, and they're normally six forty nine a pound, which still is not really bad. They have deals on them a lot, though. They, so, but these were on sale. Let me get the thing. It was a Prime deal. So, if you're a Prime member. And they were on sale, you paid, I think it was $4.99 a pound. So we ended up getting $2.60 off on these. This was nice. That's so we it. bought four of them total. You got a couple different ones? No, you? I just bought the four. I bought okay. four of these. Then this was the, what is it? P.S. De La Resistance. This was the best deal. So pasture-raised ground beef from them. And normal price is, I don't know, it's like ridiculous. What's the normal price? <laughs> The normal, Arm and leg. the normal price on it is $5.99 a pound, mm -hmm. and it was on sale for $3.69 a pound. Even the butcher said, I've never seen it he's this never, low. He's like, I've never ever seen this that low. And we got a couple of them, and we just had them individually wrap them. In all, I mean, that's a lot. We got eight pounds of ground beef, we got the burgers, you know, so all of that stuff for 80 bucks. It's I'm pretty good. Pretty happy with it. We pretty tried... much everything that we bought was on sale. I'm sorry about the Zevia not being on sale. Yeah, so online it said Zevia was on sale, but it wasn't in the store. But it's no big deal because we'll just go to primenow.com and it'll be delivered to me. I hate to make somebody make a trip for nothing but sale. Yep. So I think we overall, the only thing that we bought that was not on sale was the heavy whipping cream. But we got to have it. Everything else was on sale. So, pretty excited. As a matter of fact, I forgot to even mention it. The cottage cheese, normal price, $5.49 a container, on sale, $3.69 plus 10% off as a Prime member. Wow. So, I mean, that is a significant savings. Now, I mean, you still like you'd do better if you just stuck right to the coupon. We used to try to get like exactly like, oh, you need $70, get exactly $70, but man. These were some good load-up deals. That was our intention, was. but I mean, how do you not, we were only buying like four pounds of the ground beef, but $3.69, you can't do better than that. Dude, though, they give me like Kohl's cash. You get the Kohl's cash, yep. you're like a deal, and you're like, I am only going in there and spending exactly my Kohl's cash. I always wind up at least doubling it. Now, so. the only thing about that pasture-raised ground beef is, I don't know if you noticed, it is 85%, 15%, so you're gonna have to add some fat to it. You can't eat a pound of that because gonna you're gonna cry. be way off on your I'm fat ratio. i not cry about that. But that's the one thing about pasture-raised, grass-fed, grass-finished, it's harder to find the higher fats. A lot of the, the highest fat I've ever seen it is 80 20 unless you're going to like US butcher box. Wellness or butcher box where you and now you're paying a premium for 75 25. so maybe if you get together with a local farmer yeah do yeah. it that way but so i'm always i usually buy the 80 20 but 85 15 at that price i'll just add some fat add some extra butter add some extra avocado oil something like that maybe a little bit of lard or ghee now it's just getting tastier and tastier well, we are going home because the kids have to get to youth group and I need to stop at Publix because Vital Farms eggs are on sale. <gasps> we need some of those. Yep. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what are some of the deals that you always look for when you go to Whole Foods or Sprouts or one of those kind of places. And thanks for going along with us on our little shopping haul. Yeah, if you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.